Now we should begin this discussion by talking about the fact that the right hand side of the heart deals predominantly with deoxygenated blood. This deoxygenated blood needs to go to the lungs to receive oxygen and to drop off carbon dioxide. Now once this blood's oxygenated, it's gonna to go to the left hand side of the heart where it's then delivered to the tissues of the body to get that oxygen, take the carbon dioxide, bring it back to the right hand side of the heart and the whole process begins again. Now, in chronic bronchitis, which is an inflammatory disease of the airways, you can get, due to the inflammation, hypersecretion of a sticky mucus. And this mucus starts to block these airways. Now, when these airways are blocked, it means that the ventilation, the gas going in and out, is minimized, it's diminished. So you get a drop in ventilation. Now, because there's a drop in ventilation, there's gonna be a drop in oxygen in these alveoli. And the drop in oxygen results in pulmonary arteriole vasoconstriction. The whole reason why this happens is so that it matches. You don't want all this blood going past that can't take oxygen. So that drops, that drops, and the blood can be redirected to better ventilated areas of the lungs, which is awesome. But in chronic bronchitis, it's not just one alveolus that's blocked, it's multiple alveoli that are blocked. And so you've got the drop in ventilation in many alveoli, which means you've got many pulmonary arterioles vasoconstricting and the blood backs up into the pulmonary arteries. Now, backing up in the pulmonary arteries means you get an increase in blood pressure here and you get pulmonary hypertension. It backs up into the right hand side of the heart where, because it's a muscle, tries to overcome this resistive force. It gets thicker and you get right side cardiac hypertrophy, but it ultimately fails and the blood continues to back up into the venous system. The blood pressure is so high that at the capillaries of the tissues, blood leaks out and you get peripheral edema. Now, back in the past, they used to unfairly refer to these people as blue bloaters. Blue because there's lack of oxygen and bloating because of the peripheral edema. That's chronic bronchitis.